How to Grow Empress of India by Bagel Finagle. The more you know, the better you'll grow. All right, guys. First, what we're gonna do, we got our seeds. Of course, you don't have to have seeds. We'll have links in the description for all the equipment that you see here today or something comparable to. All right, once you get your seeds, of course, you're gonna wanna scale. You don't want something to measure your seeds in. You wanna want something to weigh your seeds in. Put that to the side. Let's talk about our trays here. Here, we use a three tray growing method. So the first one's gonna be a solid tray. This will be the base, all right? This is gonna serve a couple of different purposes. Not only is it gonna keep everything together, it's gonna hold water for when we bottom water. So when we bottom water, pretend there's soil in here. It's gonna seep up through that soil. So we're gonna, of course, want something solid to hold that water. This is what we're gonna put our water in once we get to that phase. Second tray, of course, as you've seen, has holes in it. This is also gonna serve a couple of different functions. Of course, it's gonna keep our soil. It has the breathing holes in there, so saturation, water can come through. And uh, it also is gonna allow excess water to run through the top as well, when we do our top watering stage. And the third is gonna be another solid tray. We're gonna fit this in here after the seed have been sown and we're gonna place a weight on top. And I'll go over that once we get to that point. For now, we're gonna leave this as this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna empty our soil into here. So once we get our soil medium good and dampened, we're gonna go ahead and start weighing out our seeds. Now this is called Empress of India. It's a very spicy seed. It's actually one of my favorites. Um, 22 grams, so we'll go ahead and start pouring those out here. My money. All right. Once we got 22 grams, slide some things over here. We're gonna spread these out. If you notice here, we didn't do any soak. This is a no soak seed. I mean, it's pretty hard to clump these up. Really can't. But I like how they look. And I actually think we could probably use, we probably go a little bit more, but uh, just for educational purposes here, we'll leave this density as is. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go ahead and you wanna cover all the seeds with another thinner layer of soil. Once again, guys, if you see some clumps roll out, break the clumps up. That's all right. Okay. I like the way that's looking there. Once we got it all situated and spread out, we're gonna come back and we're gonna heavily water this. All right. Heavily water. So these seeds require no weight. So we're not gonna put the block on top of this. We're actually gonna dome this. And it's just gonna go set like this. And that's it. It's been 12 hours for our Empress of India. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this dome. This has a nice layer over it. So you gotta make sure it's damp enough to get through to the seed. The seed is really hard, so you need more water to help germinate. This one's still pretty damp, so I'm not gonna add too, too much. We're gonna make sure it goes through that top layer. Okay. Gonna put this dome lid back on and see you guys in 12 hours. It has been 12 more hours for our Empress of India. 
gonna take this dome off. You're not gonna see any germination for a few days. This one takes a little longer. You do, however, wanna keep it saturated. The seed is harder, so you need the water to absorb better in this particular seed. So it needs just a little more water during germination. put this dome back on, put this back in blackout, and we'll see you in 12 more hours. It's been 12 hours for the Empress of India here. Uh, it doesn't, don't see any signs of it sprouting yet. And that's, that's perfectly normal. Go ahead and get this good water. Nice. When it does start sprouting, you'll literally see the, the this first layer of soil start to crumble and poke up. Pretty cool sight. All right, we'll go ahead and put the dome back on this and shove it back on the rack for another 12 hours. All right, this is Empress 12 more hours into. All right, I started to see a little bit of sign right here, life. Let me give this good water and I'll show y'all. Empress does take a little bit more longer to uh, start the germination than most seeds. But if you see right here, right in this corner, you see a little bit of germination going on. A shoot starting to perforate the husk of the seed. That's awesome. Go ahead and put this back into dome and set it on the rack. All right, it's been 12 more hours for Empress of India. Remove the dome. You can see right here, it's starting to germinate. We got another one over here starting to germinate. We'll go ahead and wet this up. Looks great. The main thing, or the main reason I check this every day, every 12 hours, is to constantly monitor for mold in the event that we get it. All right, now we dome this back. I'll put it back on the rack for 12 more hours. Okay, it's been 12 hours for Empress of India. Go ahead and give this a good water. Check this out right here. This little seed right here has begun germinating for sure. Definitely starting to grow shoots now. So we're getting, we're getting further along in the process here. Let me give this a little water. I'm not gonna water it too much. The water's been uh, been penetrating the seeds very well, so we definitely want to give that ground a chance to dry out to prevent mold. All right, that's it for this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in dome and put it back on the rack for another 12 hours. All right, this is 12 more hours into our Empress of India. You can see the soil has started lifting. We can see some shoots starting to come, some leaves starting to develop. Looks great, looks like a great crop. We'll go ahead and get this a good water. Perfect. I like it. It's been collecting water for the past few days. Always, I try to judge by weight, right? So uh, this feels great. Of course, it's not going to be drinking a whole lot of water. We definitely don't want to overwater this. It's the right amount of water for it, especially just while it's starting off. So everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in dome or back in blackout. And we're gonna put it back on the shelf. Okay, it's been 12 more hours for our Empress of India here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the dome. Look at that formation, the leaf formation on it. looks absolutely beautiful. No mold, it's a key thing. Go ahead and give this a good water here. And also, Let's see how it feels. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit on the underside as well. Not a whole lot. That's plenty. So by this time, the roots are definitely start. Oh, you can see them on the bottom right here. Start seeing the roots starting to come out, looking for water. So you can transition to a bottom water. And that's going to vary from, from crop to crop. You know, amaranth is only a top water. Uh, these top and bottom 
So uh, definitely use common sense on it. If the roots look like they need some water, give the roots water. Um, other than that, it's so far coming in great. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dome back on it and put it on the rack. All right, guys, we're back 12 hours into our Empress of India. Everything looks good. Shoots are coming up well. You can see it uh, just in the past 12 hours. It's totally shot up from here. I'm gonna give this a quick mist. Nice. I could tell the, mo the uh, soil is pretty moist, so we're not, we don't want to flood it. Nothing like that. Everything looks good, and definitely uh, keep that in consideration. You don't want to drown your crop. Great growth rate on them. We're gonna put it in blackout and be back in 12 hours. All right, it's been 12 more hours for our Empress. Remove the blackout dome. They look like they have taken absolute growth steroids. And have, I mean, look how long that is. That's absolutely amazing. Um, right now we're kind of at a crossroads. Do we want to let these grow a little bit longer? Absolutely. Um, the, the bottom watering situation here looks pretty good. I'll give it a little bit more water just to help it. But I could tell, and I'm sure you can see, it's got a good bit amount of saturation right there. So if I could pinch it and squeeze water out of the soil, the soil is well hydrated. Um, looks great, absolutely magnificent. I would like to see these smaller shoots catch up. So we're, I'm gonna put this in, in a blackout, and this is where you need to make a decision. I'm gonna put this in blackout for 12 more hours and try to let these little shoots catch up to these long ones here. And uh, once that happens, we'll definitely introduce light to it. But for now, blackout, I'll see you in 12 hours. All right, guys, it's 12 more hours for our Empress of India. This is definitely time for light. Look at everything starting to, it's searching for light. So that's why they're definitely, uh, they're growing tall. They're leaning to the side. They're looking for light. So at this stage of the growth, we're definitely aiming for light. I'm looking at my soil here. It's still really wet. So I think I'll skip on our top water today. The bottom tray is still a little wet. I might just give it a little splash just so the roots can drink something. And that's it. That's it. I pay attention to the soil. I'm looking how damp it is. I can squeeze water out of it. So it has plenty of water in our soil. This is ready for light. And when I come back in 12 hours, we'll start to see these stand straight up and we'll start to see green. Exciting time for these right now. Uh, these are a very spicy, spicy plant. A lot of restaurants love these. Yeah, be back soon. All right, guys. It's been 12 more hours for our Empress of India. We still got a good amount of saturation in our soil here. A little damp on the underside i'll give it a little shot of water here not much at all boom that's plenty and all we're doing that for is just to feed the roots roots look nice and healthy beautiful roots go ahead and set that back down and we can see the foliage starting to come out on this absolutely great and of course they're getting taller as always, check for mold. I've really never seen uh, mold on Empress of India, so it shouldn't be a big issue. Of course, you can see it's pretty thin, and we plant it thin because once these start expanding out, it's gonna take a lot of room up. All right, guys, that's it. I'll put it back on the rack for 12 more hours. All right, guys, it's been 12 more hours for our Empress of India. We're gonna start seeing the leaves opening up more coming more pronounced they're definitely going to get way bigger than this by the end of it they'll be in between a quarter to a half dollar size uh, when i pick this up i can immediately feel some weight to it so that tells me that there's still a good bit of water content in the soil here and we can confirm that by just grabbing a little pinch and pinching it and i see i see plenty of water juicing up out of there so what i'll do is pull this out of here Take a good look at it. 
Give it a splash. Not much at all, guys. Not much at all. We don't want to overwater this. It's at a good content moisture right now. The roots are looking absolutely magnificent. We'll go ahead and set that back in there. And I always do that, guys. As soon as I set it back into this bottom tray, I rock it back and forth. I let them let that water have a chance to roll over all of the roots from side to side. All right, guys, that's it for now. We're gonna have to put this back on the rack for 12 more hours. Okay, it has been another 12 hours for our Empress. You can see that they are really starting to grow their leaves, really opening up. They kind of remind me of lily pads. Um, soil is a little dry, so we're gonna put a good bit of water. That should be enough. We don't wanna overdo it. And then kind of, just like the other times, swirl it around, help it distribute evenly. I'm going to put this back in light and see you guys in 12 more hours. It's been another 12 hours for our Empress. Uh, you can see the foliage is still growing, still expanding. As it grows, the more dense this crop gets. And the soil is still pretty damp, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of water at the bottom, not too much. Okay. And we're going to go ahead, put this back in light, and see you guys again in another 12 hours. It's been another 12 hours for our Empress. Um, they're not going to get any taller, they're just going to keep opening up. As you can see, most of, most of them have two leaves. They will get a third. So once that third one comes up and is fully grown, then that's when they're ready to harvest. So soil's pretty damp looking, but we're gonna add some at the bottom. Not too much, just enough to coat the bottom. That should be plenty right there. Put that back in there. And of course, kind of tilt it around so that all the roots can get an even dispense of water. And then we're gonna put this back into light for another 12 hours, see you then. Welcome back, it's been another 12 hours for our Empress. Soil still looks pretty damp, so we're just gonna add some water at the bottom. Uh, it's a little light, so I'll add a good little bit today. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay. And then you can start to see a lot of these getting that little third stem and again that's what we're looking for for them to all have that and all have a nice size leaf all right gonna put this back in light see you in 12 hours it's been another 12 hours for our empress of india you can see they're all coming in really well starting to see that third leaf really take form and they're all looking good so we're gonna go ahead and bottom water this so it's a little light, so I'm gonna add a good little bit. Okay. Put that back in there. Again, kind of swish it around so those roots can all evenly drink that water as the soil absorbs it. We're gonna put this back in light. See you guys in 12 more hours been another 12 hours on our empress soil is still pretty damp so i'm not going to add too much water in that bottom water i'm going to show you how tall they are okay a good six inches five six inches they're not going to get any taller they're just going to keep filling out on top so i'm going to go ahead and take this out and we're going to add some water Put that back in and again kind of tilt it back and forth let that water distribute against the roots evenly we're going to put that back into the light and see you in 12 more hours okay. welcome back it's been 12 more hours for our empress you can see how good these leaves are looking like i had said earlier they look like little lily pads to me most of them have their third out they're looking great this is actually going to be ready to harvest within the next couple of days they're not going to get any taller they have this nice pretty almost pinkish some slightly teal in it colors 
and these are extremely spicy this is one of my favorites so soil feels good it's not real light don't have to add too much that should be good there Okay, and again, you're gonna swish it around so all those roots can get this evenly. And we're gonna put this back in the light and we're gonna see you again in 12 hours. Welcome back, it's been another 12 hours. These are looking great. Soil is still pretty damp, so it doesn't need a lot in the bottom. These look and smell so good. They'll be ready to harvest soon. I'm just looking for the center leaf to come on through and these you can actually grow them roughly 90 days i believe and they will flower and they have an edible flower we've never grown it to the flowering stage maybe that's a, another thing we can try for you guys at some point okay i'm gonna put that back in light and see you in 12 hours all right guys it's been another 12 hours these are all looking great they all have their little three leaves. So I'm actually gonna be harvesting this after the next 12 hour check. That's gonna be a separate video. So keep on watching. So the soil feels pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna add too, too much. Just enough to coat that bottom. And just like all the other times, switch it around, let that water distribute evenly over the roots. Then I'm gonna put this back in light and see you guys tonight. All right, it has been another 12 hours. We've actually come to the end of this video. I'm going to do a separate video of harvesting and the weight and how much you get out of this. Um, you wanna go at least 12 hours between watering and harvesting so that your soil is dry. It's gonna keep your microgreens drier and keep them fresher longer. So you don't wanna harvest wet microgreens. You're just gonna ruin your product. So just to kind of show you, you can see that soil is lighter than it's been in all the other videos. That's because it's dry. Kind of give you an idea about how tall they are. They're roughly anywhere from six to eight inches. They all have more than one leaf. And then of course, everything I did in this video was for a 10 by 10 tray, personal size. So if you want to grow a 10 by 20 tray, you're going to do 90 grams instead of 45 grams. And whatever weight I get out of this is going to be double if you do the larger tray. So keep following, subscribe to our channel. We'll keep showing you guys.